Today, on the premiere episode of Battery Unders, I go looking for some batteries. Let me give you a little explanation on what this is about here. Um, there is a certain device which I can't name because the YouTube algorithm will either demonetize this video or just cancel it outright. Um, so I can't name what it is, but you'll get a hint here. Um, this is something that I've actually kind of learned about from Big Clive, didn't realize how bad a situation it really was, but these devices, uh, which let's say emit a vapor, um, they have batteries inside to power them because uh, there's a little heating element and I'm not going to get into all the technical stuff, but turns out the batteries that they're putting in these things are actually rechargeable batteries. They're being used as a one-time use device but they have a rechargeable battery and it's a lithium ion battery. So, you know, it's like the 18650s. If you've, if you've looked into any kind of electronics, uh, 18650s are actually what the Teslas are built around. A uh, whole bunch of batteries in the battery pack, a whole bunch of cells in the battery pack. But uh, anyway, these are usable batteries and it seems like an incredible waste that these things get thrown out but actually in my neighborhood it turns out people are just tossing them on the side of the road and big clive had noticed the same thing i'm here in the u.s he's over there on isle of man and uh at least that's my understanding sorry big clive if i got that wrong um major respect to you buddy uh yeah, uh, <laughs> so I want to keep these things out of the landfill. I want to get them out of my neighborhood, and I want to see if I can find a use for them. So what you're about to see is me going on a hunt in my neighborhood for the batteries. So let's see what we can find. Okay, so just a bit of a note here. Um, a common place to find them, at least in my neighborhood, is right in the gutter because people will park along the street enjoy their device and then when it stops working because the battery's depleted they'll uh, just dump it right on the side of the road and that's just kind of disturbing that people do that but we'll see if we find any all right here's a little item worthy of note sometimes you'll find things in the bushes along the side of the road but in the week or so and the what seven or eight batteries that I've found um, oh, actually I guess it's been a few weeks but uh, in that time what I'm finding is it tends to be more li literally about as close as it can be to where the device stopped working people just aren't being inventive and tossing them way up a hill or something like that so but I will look at little culverts like this to see if I find anything and uh, so far nothing but that's okay I'm getting some exercise okay here's another fun thing to do while you're searching for stuff sometimes you run into is this empty not completely but people just toss cans on the side of the road well my view on that is curse them slightly, put them dead center, and all the people that decide that the lines in the middle of the road are unimportant, they'll catch them, and you end up with a flat can. Bonus! I should say, if I'm being responsible here, that if you'd go for the bonus, Make sure you go back later and actually pick it up. That's just not nice to the neighbors. It's not nice in the first place. Hey, Charlie. Um, not nice to the neighbors to uh, leave those things to begin with. And you're like throwing something in somebody's bushes, really? But hey, if I pick it up, it flattens out and I can pick it up and carry it home with a bunch of other flat ones. Um, you know, I can put those in the recycling or whatever, but again, keeping it out of the landfill is a good idea. All right, well, I'm nearing the end of my conventional walk and sun's out, so I think I'm just going to extend it. 
interesting the things you'll find sometimes. Perfectly usable USB-C cable. Something I could use for a project. And another can. This one's not even opened. Interesting. Let's see what happens with it over here. There we go. See, there's your yellow line. Oh, <laughs> even more. All right, I'll leave these for tomorrow and have a little more fun with them. Okay, now there is something I can do for a neighbor. Uh, one, there's the neighbor on pro oh, whose property this was left. Uh, but there's another neighbor I know who collects uh, recyclables. So, I'll put them in the pile with these, and hopefully she'll find them before too long. See, there's another one that's been there for days. I could pick them all up and go put them in a garbage can, but I, I know she's going to be out before too long to find them. All right, well, the sun's still out. My leg's starting to hurt. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to call it. It's a little humid, so I'm going to start heading back. Okay, right up about here in the gutter is where I scared, scored the two smaller ones yesterday. That's new. Yeah, people just leave their junk. Is that a, is that a smashed can? No, that's something else. Uh, I'll also look in the bushes real quick, but yeah, <laughs> going down the hill is the easy part. Going back up, you guessed it. Anyway, I'll keep looking. All right, so let's check on our unopened can. Honestly, in that pothole, it might survive. So, oh, that's not been taken out yet. All right. Well, I may not have gotten any batteries, but I did get a good walk in. So, that's it for today. All right, folks. Day two. Let's see if we find anything. Different route, and we'll check on the cans. All right. Well, I just passed the spot where I scored a few days ago. Nothing yet. Uh, still looking around. Oh, there's another can. Let me switch you over here. Across the street. We'll set this one up. Mandelo seems to be the drink of choice around here. All right, that's empty. Let's squish it a little. And there's another manhole cover. And the lines are much clearer here. Let's see if that turns into anything. Okay, so I'm working my way down a hill. Uh, there's actually a fork in the road. I'm taking the other side from what I did last week. So we'll see if we get something. This is basically unexplored territory, uh, at least on my part. So let's see if I find anything. Well, on the plus side, the street's getting cleaned. On the downside, I might miss some opportunities. All right, well, truth be told, even with a street sweeper, if somebody's parked, there's still some areas. So, not a total loss, but still haven't found anything. Not sure if I mentioned that one yesterday, but another flat one. Okay. No batteries yet, but let's check on the uh, energy drink. Should have been... Huh. Oh, there. There's the pothole. No drink. Let's see if we can figure out... Maybe on the other side. Oh, there it is.
Okay, one more can to check. There we go. Add that to the collection. Kind of warm. All right, well, I'm back at home base. All I got was the cans. I'll go give them to my neighbor. He's the one that's kind of interested in that. And uh, we'll go out again tomorrow, see if we find any more batteries. All right, folks, time to head off for day three. Okay, so I'm off and running, and as it turns out, as I continue to look here, <laughs> more junk on the street. But uh, I had a couple of interesting ideas for what I could do with these batteries. Um, I suppose, if nothing else, you could probably take them off to Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever, somewhere where they've got the, the uh, battery recycling box that you put the batteries for your cordless tools. Um, I mean, it's the same kind of battery, basically. You just want to make sure that they're actually uh, rendered safe. Let me actually check something here. Oop. Wow. Broken bottle. Not much I can do about that. Uh, I was going to look over here. Let's see if there's anything people keep tossing. Now, somebody finally picked up all of the... Uh, plastic bottles that were here um, and actually looking down it looks like maybe they cleaned up even further down there so that's a good thing uh, no batteries but watching things get cleaned up is a good thing but as I was saying a um, couple of ideas and uh, some upcycling and so last night I went through my inventory of electronic parts. Uh, there's some electronic stuff on, on the channel other than uh, this. I mean, this is sort of one series. I have another series, and then my main part of my channel is actually gardening. Uh, so if I could actually build something electronic that goes in the garden, that's sort of the combination of everything. Um, still looking. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. I've got some ideas. Uh, I think... Now that I've taken inventory of what I have, I know I need to order a couple more parts. So maybe we'll make that part of the series, kind of show you what I'm putting together from the parts that I managed to scavenge. What do we have here? I mean, who, who buys Perrier and just tosses it on the side of the road? <laughs> I'll let you make your own guess on that. All right, one more can. All right, well, yeah, I know there's a glare. This is the first time I'm walking this particular area, uh, at least since I started seriously looking for batteries, so we'll see if it produces anything. Well, I guess the question is how dead is this dead end? Well, that didn't bear any fruit or fruity flavor. All right, well, I'm turning and heading back before this becomes a longer adventure than I want. There's a tennis court not all that far away, actually multiple tennis courts, but that's just kind of odd. All right, back up around the turn and it looks like we're already part way there. I'll put it back. There we go. We'll see what happens. Whoops, I know the trees around here are not doing well, but that's not a good sign. I must have missed it when I came by the first time. That's going to be coming out of this. And it'll probably take them three or four days to get around to dealing with it. All right, well, as I catch my breath here, uh, I didn't yield anything as far as batteries today, but, I mean, third day in a row... I'm not complaining. I think what maybe what's going on, sorry, I'm all sweaty and uh, I think what might be going on is that people gather on the weekend and I tend to find more earlier in the week, which is what I found this week. Uh, Monday and Tuesday I found stuff and then Wednesday I decided to start recording the adventure. So I may not have gotten any batteries, but um, I have gotten... Uh, a few good walks in. Actually, I've been doing this for a little over a week now. So, um, 
the walking and hunting. I've only been recording since Wednesday and it's now Friday. So, uh, and the other thing, I stepped on a scale yesterday and it looked like in total I've lost four pounds. I'm not complaining. Four pounds in a week? That's pretty good. Um, I am overweight. I need to lose that weight. And these morning walks are a good way to get rid of it. So, I'm happy with that. Meanwhile, um, as I hear things off in the distance, uh, meanwhile, I think I'm going to wrap up here unless I actually find something on the weekend. And if I do, then I will update and uh, we'll go from there. Good morning. Uh, sorry about the angle, but uh, there's major glare. So uh, this may be kind of an interesting situation here. Uh, I just heard from the neighbor that uh, one of the trees is down in the park, and that's one of the main ways out of the neighborhood. So I'm going to walk down there. It means I'm going to have to walk back up the hill if I can't get by. Uh, if I can get by, I'll go for a little bit more of a walk and figure it out. Um, but I just watched another car go down and come back up. So... Not sounding great. Maybe I'll get you some shots of what's going on. We have some tr sick trees in that park. And uh, if, if there was a branch down yesterday, we'll see what we find out. Well, there's the answer. It's across the road. I can get down a certain amount, but I'm not going to push this. So I guess I'm up over the hill and back up that same hill. Actually, it looks like I can go around it. Well, let's see what we got here. Oh, that guy just went right through. Yep, fairly well flattened. And I put another one out. Well, I'm happy to report that I walked a couple times around the baseball field and did not find anything. There's a lot of kids that play there. That kind of stuff around a baseball field not a good thing. For a minute there I thought it had completely disappeared, but nope. That's been run over. Just in the intervening time. Wow. Good morning. Sunday. I'm back out again. Uh, actually talked to one of my neighbors. Said, oh wow, he did. Said he would leave me whatever he found, and there's another one, so I'll bag that one up and we'll continue. All right, well, that's a decent start, and I have to admit, last night I was out walking with a different neighbor, and uh, we ran across one, and I forgot to actually record anything, so I did find one there. Um, when I was walking yesterday, I did find right next to a bunch of guys that were smoking, uh, <laughs> an empty container. So I'm wondering if that one that I just picked up is actually the one that came out of the container. Uh, I'll tell that neighbor he doesn't need to actually uh, pull them apart for me. I can take care of that because also there's a slight chance when you're taking them apart that you're going to run into a problem. So uh, out for a walk this morning and as it turns out actually Last night, or yesterday, I think I overdid it. Last night, I didn't sleep all that well, so I'm just going to keep this one relatively short. But, I mean, that's one last night. Uh, that's one this morning. It's not a bad haul. Uh, the one from last night, also it turned out that one had been, like, squished pretty badly. So I had to watch out. Uh, I had to be careful as I was taking it apart just to make sure it didn't, like, short circuit on me and start just going crazy. Um, I'm going to walk across over here and just see what... Uh, yeah. So I had to be careful with that one. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep looking. Let's see what we find. Alright, well this one has absolutely nothing to do with me. But I'll pick it up. And I'll give it to my neighbor. 
well I've gotten a little past where I was gonna stop and was feeling good enough I decided to take a chance just go a little bit further so I remember oh this is a dead-end street well I haven't been down here before <laughs> I made a mistake but that's one more street to look at okay whoops sorry about the glare halfway point it is now literally all uphill from here but I'm doing good uh, my hips starting to hurt so that's a sign I need to turn around which just kind of worked out and uh, yeah we'll just keep looking as I go back up looks like today is my lucky day let's bag this one and see what we've got all right back at home base let's see how easy or hard it's going to be to render these relatively harmless uh, number one, I'm going to go after the one the neighbor left me. All I really need is a pair of wire snippers. But So this is, okay, yeah, this has got to be from the one that I saw because it had a square thing. And on here, well, I'm not sure what's on here. That might be the pressure sensor on there, but now when I cut these wires, what I want to do is I want to cut them one at a time because I don't want to short anything out. So first I'll cut this one, then I'll cut that one. I'm hoping I'm in frame here. Oh, sorry. We'll get that one. We can get rid of that. And this would be, I think, where the heater was. Uh, Basically, what these things do is, when you draw in, uh, it uses the pressure sensor to determine that you're drawing in and that you want vapor uh, and whatever else they put in it. Um, uh, and then that basically turns this on, which is going to be a heater, and that heater sits inside a, uh, a vessel, if you will. Uh, it's not liquid it's this liquid soaked into another medium uh, if it was just liquid it would be have the chance of getting all over the thing and possibly shorting it out so basically I'm just going to cut the two wires one at a time I can dispose of the rest of this so right now and there's one more wire sitting in here oh yeah there's one more here I'm hoping that's going to come through Let's get that snipped so we know it's not an issue. Uh, I'm checking. Okay, looks like both of these are soldered on there. There's other stuff running up here, so they're separated now. And I'm not as worried about it. What remains is this other one that I picked up, which I'm trying not to handle too much. I am going to wash my hands when I'm done with all of this. But it's one of these, it's actually really kind of a nice metal canister. But usually, if you do it right, you can just kind of pry the top off. It may not be that easy. This one's going to fight me. All right, let's look at the other end. Interesting. Oh, I can see a light blinking. I don't know if that'll come through at all. Uh, probably because I've been handling it. It's probably got a motion sensor of some sort or something triggered it. Unfortunately, I'm gonna need to use bigger tools to get that apart, and I don't really want to encourage people to get hurt. Uh, potential for getting hurt on that, so I'll get uh, my uh, Big Clive has his explos explosives containment pie dish. Well, I have the cookie tin. <laughs> um, and so I will get the bigger tools and I will take it apart later. But that's it for now. Um, I've scored. I mean, I got batteries. Uh, I was starting to look like I wasn't going to get anything this week uh, since I started recording on Wednesday, but here it is Sunday. I managed to acquire two more so I'm not unhappy about that. And I had one last night, too. So that's two found and one given. Found by somebody else, but given to me. So 
I'll test them out and we'll figure out what we got. But I think we're going to wrap up here and we'll see you in the next episode.